All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to The Biz with D, of course. And right now we have Josh McNeil on the show, who is an amazing R&B artist. Based oh, yeah. Out of Atlanta. What's going on? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. I do appreciate it. Yeah, you got it, man. It's a pleasure. Absolutely. Let me tell you, you are very talented. And just <laughs> before I even go any further... You need to get signed by somebody major. <laughs> either that, that, you know. either that signed, co-signed, something. <laughs> well, it's, it's you know, um, it's been a blessing, uh, you know, being in, in, in my position, man. I, I can't, I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, I believe that we have, you know, a good plan, and and um, if it if we execute it right, then. It's going to be real good for me and the fans, you know. So um, it, it's definitely it's definitely a good move, man. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Absolutely, absolutely. So what age were you when you first decided that you wanted to do music? Oh, man, I was I was four years old, man. Uh, running around the house, you know, uh, doing run, run competitions with my brothers. Um, it was, it, it, it's been, it's been like music runs in my family, so it's always been there, you know, and, uh, I definitely was a, um, preacher's kid, so, um, <laughs> that, that didn't, you know, that just made me be in, I was in all the choirs, my dad made me be in all the choirs, my mom made me be in all the choirs, and, you know, I was at, I was, um, in an adult choir at a young age, and, you know, I was on a praise team at a young age, and it was, it was, it's just, you know, I've always loved doing doing what I do so that's what that's what's up. so you have a great single that's out right now um can you kind of tell the listeners about that because I just want to dive in and talk about the single because it's, it's a hot joint okay uh well uh I believe you you're talking about leave me alone yes so mm-hmm. um or is it leave me alone or um or forget to love both of them, as a matter of fact, is they're both dope. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, uh, it's Forget to Love, um, if, if I'm not mistaken. It's definitely Forget to Love. Um, it, that single is basically something that I went through. Uh, is, I definitely can relate to it. You know, the fans will be able to relate to it. But Forget to Love is basically talking about I'm, I'm in a relationship. And, you know, I, I, I couldn't understand why. You know, I've been with you so long. We went through so much together, you know, and, and you just up and leave and you forget to love me as as being your man for so many years. You right. know, and I just didn't understand how can you forget to love somebody that you've been with for so long. And I'm trying to figure out how to do it because I want to know how because I can't do it, you know. So um, that's, that's basically what forget to love is about um, in a nutshell. Nice, nice. And how did you come up with that song? just it, it's just been like you know I went through it it was something that I went through it was it was real it's, it's so easy to um, put on paper what you go through because it comes out you know and, and you know you, you flow with it because it's something that you can relate to it's something that that's that's in your heart you know so it just came it was real easy to do because you know I was I was I was heartbroken at that particular time so Right, and that is definitely understandable, and I know how that feels because I've been in that same situation, and it's a sucky situation, but you know what? When you write good music, it comes out of it. I mean, okay. it's so sucky after all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got you. It's more, it's more so like, wow, well, that wasn't so sucky. That was more like the shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. Right. But... <laughs> you got it, man. Just being honest. Definitely. Definitely. It's definitely a, it's, it's, it sucks, you know, but, you know, we all go through it. It's something that, you know, we go through as human beings, and I guess everybody needs to, you know, feel that at one point, you know? True. So I know you, just, you mentioned a little bit earlier when we got started that you grew up at a church and you were in every choir. What was your favorite, um, like, song to sing in um, church as a child? Uh, one <laughs> was, one was, uh, Eyes on the Sparrow. And, uh, that, that's basically, you know, 
what I what I what I sung in in, in church and but um don't ask me to say that right now because <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, definitely that that was that that would be that song, you know. And how would you say that church being in a choir has definitely helped you as an artist? Um, you can learn a lot in, in church, you know, because vocally, you know, you have to. I mean, there's 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 no there's no uh, tricks or anything, you know. You won't. You on, you're in the choir, you have to sing live. When it comes to your solo, you have to sing. You have to make sure that that, that sounds good, you know. And um, I just believe that, you know, that that helps me a lot because, you know, it, it made me become a, a true singer, you know. And um, it's definitely something that, you know, I take on with me throughout life, period. And I'm going to take it for years to come. So. Right. So as an artist, what just keeps you motivated? Um, keeps me motivated. I, I'll have to say, you know, my fans. You know, it's my son and my fans at the same time. So that, that keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. Um, you know, I can't disappoint my son, and I definitely don't want to disappoint my fans. And, you know, I just want to always give good music, give, it, give excitement, give give the sad things, give the, you know, um, the, the songs that they can relate to. Um, that's basically my motivation, and um, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, okay. So let's talk about the new project that you're working on right now. Well, uh, the, the project I'm working on now is um, I'm working on my album. Uh, we haven't named the album yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we we still that's still up in the air. We want to make sure that that's perfect. But um, I'm working on this album. It's going to be exciting. You know, um, my fans are going to be able to get the the sad feel, the happy feel, um, the the relationship feel, the you know I'm in love feel. It's definitely something that everybody can relate to, and and you know they're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. You know, we're gonna have you know some B features, or, but you know, I'm not gonna mention those names right now because I want to make sure that's set in stone right. before I speak up on that. But um, it, it's definitely it's definitely gonna be exciting, and, and everybody's gonna love it. Okay, well, we are definitely looking forward to that. And um, let me just ask you about your style because I think that your style hands down is what should be commended on because a lot a lot of singers they'll come out or rappers. Let's let's just in fact. Let's just say artists, they'll come out with a wild, like, style. And it's just, like, you're thinking, like, what the hell is going on? But I got to <laughs> say, your, your fashion style and senses are great. Do you have a stylist that you work with, or do you pretty much just dress yourself? Man, I dress myself. I've been, I've been, into, I've been into, you know, clothes. I, I love, you know, looking good. I love, you know, because when you look good, you feel good. So I've always, you know, loved going shopping, loved, you know, seeing what, what this will look like on me or, you know, I've just always been into that, you know, and that's, and that's what I do. You know, you always have to not only be an artist, but you have to look like an artist, you know, and, and, and that's the thing. But um, it's just something that I've always been, you know, into is fashion. So I definitely dress myself. I definitely, you know, I, I love dressing myself, but... Not to say that I won't get a stylist in the future, but you know. Right. Now, could you see yourself doing like a um, a clothing line per se, maybe in the oh, future? Oh, definitely, definitely in the future. That's definitely in my future. I definitely want a clothing line. I want a clothing line, the cologne line. I want to get into the movies. You know, all that. I was about to ask you about yeah, that. Yeah. I totally was because you definitely have the actor look. You have like the model look. Like you just have that all around. I can be anything. Look. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank not you. a problem. So besides the um, album that you're working on, what other projects are you working on that you haven't told anybody else that you would be willing to tell us? Well, um, right now I can't I can't too much speak on it, but um, from, from my understanding, it's going to be real big. It's something that we're still trying to work the kinks out of. But um, we're definitely... It, when I can speak up on it, you can go on my my uh, my website, joshmcneil.com, Twitter, um, uh, my Facebook, 
you know, everything is, is Josh McNeil, so it's easy to get to. And, you know, if, if anything comes up, I promise you that I, I would definitely put it on those on social, uh, social media sites. Okay, that's great. Well, where is all the – um? so can you mention your Twitter again and website just so that people um, can um, my, my Twitter, check you out? My, mm-hmm. my Twitter is Josh McNeil. My website is Josh McNeil, J-O-S-H-M-C-N-E-A-L. So you can go on there, and um, I definitely, you know, you follow me, I definitely will follow you back, <laughs> you know, and I'll – and you know I'm, I'm always I'm on there it's me you know so right well I totally am following you and I've hit the like button and follow on every social media site there is that was on your website so definitely um just keep in touch and just let us know or have Melinda let us know when you want to come back on and drop an exclusive know that you're always welcome at any time to just come on Man, I appreciate that, and I definitely will uh, take you up up on that offer. <laughs> so <laughs> you ain't got to worry about that, man. I won't be calling bugging you or nothing like that, but uh, I definitely will take you up on that offer. So. Okay, I mean, you can you can text and bug me. You don't have to call and bug me, because <laughs> I probably yeah. won't answer the call. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs>